everybody, it's Ruggle. The other half of two guys on gamepad. Back after a long vacation, long away from everything. Sig missed me. I'm sure everybody else missed me. Wanna come back with another episode, solo episode as you can see or hear. Sig's not here. So I'm gonna do a uh, March Madness. Did a Super Bowl one. We'll try to do a little more sports this year. So we're gonna do a March Madness bracket. Uh, it is the 18th. We have three days until the actual tournament starts. There is four playing games. We're going to cover the, the playing games also. So this should be dropping the 19th. Hopefully, we can get it out before those four games are done. Or, sorry, two games are done. Uh, so we'll get that going. And I think I've got everything. I've got the, I had to pull a bracket up just so I could fill it out. And if I lost it, I'm going to be mad. Okay, I didn't. So we'll go uh, try and cover as much as we can as, as we go through this. But yeah, uh, about the only time I watch I watch basketball is March Madness. I'm not huge into NBA. I'm not huge into college basketball. Uh, normally, I would watch a little bit more college basketball so I can throw a little money on the on the games and stuff like that. But uh, it's fun, and I know a lot of people go through and try to try to get the the best ones they can um, by some people do it by color, some too, people do it by jerseys. I mean, other people that are hardcore into it will. We'll follow it. Um, others will stick with number ones. I don't have the stats to really throw out right now to know, you know, number sevens have predominantly made it to, you know, the elite eight and stuff like that. But uh, we're just going to go through this, and we'll do it by uh, do it by sections. We'll do it by east east first, and then we'll jump to the south, and we'll drop to the west, and then midwest. Um, but, yeah, so let's just get straight into it. The playing games, I gotta find them now in this bracket somewhere. They're hidden. I'm not showing me the playing games for some reason. So it's just start. Okay, well, this is just starting up straight out to 64. Um, it's got, oh, it's right. Okay, so let's see. Let me see if I can find all four plans or uh, two plans. Keep saying four. Four teams. So we got. I don't know who this is. Who are they? I do not know who they focus it for. Or this is ridiculous. Teams. I should have this debt ready, right? You know? Maybe. Who is it? I'm to figure this out. I don't know who it is. Thought I had it ready to go. Maybe not. By the way. Oh man. Sorry to get back into it. It's been a while since we've done anything. All right, I think I got it. Is it? Yeah, okay, yeah. So we got Wagner and Howard, both 16 teams, uh, and then also Colorado State versus Virginia. So in the West, and then we got Midwest. So that one I'll take. I will take Howard, and they'll drop down, and uh, they'll end up playing against North Carolina. Howard will play against North Carolina. You know, more likely already, North Carolina's going to take that one. Number one seed. Uh, Colorado State versus Virginia. Virginia is a very as has been a tough team in the past. Um, man, I don't know. That's a that's a tough one, but uh, I think I'll stick with that and let. Uh, why is that so rambling? That's weird. It is that way. So it is that. So there are four games. So Grambling and Montana State. Yeah, Grambling, Gambling in Montana. Uh, I'll take Grambling in that one. Against again, they're playing Purdue. I mean, Purdue's going to take that one as well. And again, so we just that's the West and Midwest. Uh, for some reason, they don't have they don't have Colorado or Boise State or Colorado State of Virginia showing up here, which is weird. Oh, there it is. They have this number seven in the South. And then where's it at? The, why is it not there? Okay. By the way. So we got it's Boise State or Colorado. It's Colorado State. Nope, just straight up Colorado. Colorado. I mean Colorado. I see taking that one. And then uh, again, then they play number seven Florida. Uh, Florida. Mm. Man, that's tough with Colorado, Florida. I'm not seeing any upsets yet. Uh, I'll stick with Florida in that one. And then uh, what was the other one we had? We had. I already got Montana. Let's see, that's, as of right now, I think I got all of them. I'm not seeing any other doubles. There's one more, but it's not showing it on the bracket, or I'm not seeing it. Since that's so, there it is. It's Texas. Okay. 
So it's Virginia. Yeah, Virginia against Colorado State. Virginia's been tough in the past. I'll stick with that. Um, and you know what? I will take... Man. I almost want to take Virginia in that one, but I don't think it'll happen. I'll stick with... You know what? No, we'll go with Virginia. I'll take Virginia to win that one and move on. Okay, so we got those ones done. We got... Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let's go to... All right, so head on the east. So in the east, you got Connecticut versus Stetson, number one versus number 16. I'll take UConn to beat Stetson in that one. Uh, I don't see a 16. Upsetting, again, this is where everybody's brackets get busted. A lot of 16 teams that have beaten number ones randomly throughout many, many years. Um, it's where a lot of bracket busters happen in the first round. It happened last year, I believe, and the year before. A lot of brackets got busted early, early in the uh in the tournament again this is, it's a fun tournament to watch you can watch it i think it's almost all over peacock uh this season and multiple other streaming platforms it doesn't even seem to be like it's going to be on regular tv that much anymore which is frustrating um i hope it is though just because i like watching it you know being able to watch it wherever but we'll see all right dropping down after yukon stetson got florida atlantic against northwestern florida atlantic number eight northwestern number nine um, I will take, no, I'll, t I'll take Northwestern. I'm going to take Northwestern on that one. Have them go against UConn in the next round. South Dakota State versus UAB. Um, you know what, I'm going to take UAB in that one. I'm going to take another upset on that one. Um, Auburn versus Yale in the next uh, next game. Auburn, Yale. Yale's, Yale's had a decent time. Let's see, I'll go Auburn in that one. So that puts UAB against Auburn next. So BYU, DeQuesney. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to stick with BYU in that one. Um, Illinois versus Morehead State. Illinois has always been tough. Stick with Illinois putting the game against BYU in the next one. Uh, Washington State versus Drake. Straight out of Des Moines. Oh, man. You know what? I'm going to ride with Drake in that one. I've, got, I've, I've seen how they play. I'm very... Obviously very close with how that is. Um, Iowa State, South Dakota State. I'm taking Iowa State in that one. It's going to be a battle battle of Iowa in the next round if that happens. Uh, let's see. We will drop. Let's just let's just finish out this. We'll finish out the East, and then we'll, so we'll bring it to the Final Four, or the Elite Eight in that one, then we'll bring it down. Uh, let's see. UConn against Northwestern. I'll take UConn all the way in for that one. Take it to the Sweet 16. UAB Auburn. I don't see an upset there. I'll take Auburn into the Sweet 16 against UConn. BYU Illinois. Ooh man, I'm gonna take uh, I'm gonna take Illinois in that one. And then Drake Iowa State. The battle of the three pointer. They live, they both live or die by it. But I'm gonna take Iowa State in that one. That brings us to UConn Auburn in the Sweet 16. Ah. Uh, UConn, Auburn. You know what? I'm going to take the upset. I'm going to take Auburn in that one. And then Illinois, Iowa State. I'm just, I'll stick with my... Oh my God, I'm going to go Iowa State in this one. Number four, Auburn versus number two, Iowa State in the Elite Eight. We'll stick it there right now. Um, actually, no, we'll drop it down to the, four, to the Final Four. Who do we think is going to go Final Four? Auburn, Iowa State. I'm going to take Iowa State in that one. You may call me a homer just for being Iowa State. I'm from Iowa right now, so it's what it's going to be. Call what you want. Again, my bracket may get busted in, in the first round. Uh, let's hop over to the south. Starting off, number one, Houston versus number 16, Longwood. Never heard of Longwood. Take Houston. Uh, drop it down to Nebraska versus Texas A&M. I'm going to take A&M, and now we'll put them against number one, Houston, in the round of 32, Wisconsin and James Madison. I know there's going to be some upsets in here. I got, I'm just trying to look for it. I don't think... You know what? Yeah. I'll take James Madison up kit. Not against Wisconsin. Never mind. Not against Wisconsin. Duke, Vermont. I mean, you've got to stick with Duke. Duke has been solid forever. Uh, I don't think they... I don't think they have the same coach, though. I think their coach retired. So I haven't paid close attention, but the fact that they're still... Number four says something about that program, so we'll stick with that one. Uh, number six, Texas Tech against 11, NC State. Um, man, these these upsets got to happen at some point, but I still, I'm going to stick with Texas Tech. 
Kentucky against Oakland. I'm sticking with Kentucky. Wildcats are crazy. Always been a dominant team when it comes to basketball. Not so much football, but definitely basketball. Uh, throw them against Texas Tech in the in the next round. Uh, we took Florida over uh, Boise Sierra, Colorado, so we're already in. Marquette, Western Kentucky. We're taking Marquette in that one. Marquette is always tough. All right, jump back up to number one, Houston, against number nine, Texas A&M. Man, um, you know what? I'm going to take Texas A&M on that. I'm going to let them let them ride to the Sweet 16. Duke, Wisconsin. This is going to be a hell of a game if it does happen. Um, but I will take Duke in that one, putting them against number nine, Texas A&M, in the Sweet 16. Uh, Texas Tech against Kentucky. I mean, I'm, t I'm going Kentucky in that one. Uh, Marquette against Florida. I'm going to go Florida. Marquette is tough. Um... But I think, I think I'm going to ride with Florida. All right, now 16, number 9, Texas A&M. This is all in the south still. Um, number 9, Texas A&M against Duke, number 4. Um, I'll, I'll ride with Duke. Duke all the way into the, in, to the Elite 8. And then we drop down with Kentucky against Florida. Uh, I'll take Kentucky. Give me that to number 4, Duke. It's number 3, Kentucky. Man, uh, I gotta go with Duke. So that's that puts Duke from the south and then Iowa State in the east into the final four. All right, now we'll drop down to the west. Already we have North Carolina, who already, uh, who I said it would be, uh, I think it took Howard in that one. So then, uh, number eight, Mississippi State against number nine, Michigan State. Uh, I'll take the upset in that one. Not a big upset, but number nine over number eight. More like will happen, I think. Put them against number one, North Carolina. Uh, okay, number five, St. Mary's against Grand Canyon, which is GCU number 12. Uh, St. Mary's, they're always fairly decent. Another team, I, I, if I remember right, live or die by the three. Um, I'll take St. Mary's in that one. Next one, number four, Alabama against number 13, Charleston. Um Man, Alabama, didn't even know you guys had a basketball team that you do anything with. I don't remember ever seeing you guys in the tournament, but uh, good only for making it. But I th I'll tell you what, I don't think the upset of Charleston in that one. Uh, number six, Clemson against number 11, New Mexico. Who, again, another dominant college football team with Clemson. They also have had a decent basketball team. I'll, I'll take Clemson in that one. Baylor against Colgan. I'm not even going to question that. I'm going to go straight Baylor. Dayton, number seven and ten, Nevada or Nevada, however you say it. The, your prerogative, if you want to say it. I will take. Uh, you know, I'll take Nevada in this one or Nevada. Um, number two, Arizona, fifteen, Long Beach State. I'm gonna take Arizona in that one. All right, number one, North Carolina against number nine, Michigan State. Man, it's gonna be a hell of a game if it works out this way. Uh, but I will take North Carolina in that one. St. Mary's against Charleston. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the upset of them coming off of beating Alabama in that one. And then uh, number six Clemson, number three Baylor. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna take Baylor in that one too. Uh, Nevada, number ten against number two Arizona. I will take Arizona in that one. Now in the what are we at? We in the Sweet Sixteen. Number one North Carolina versus number thirteen Charleston. There's their uh, Cinderella story I'm in there with North Carolina beat them in that one. Uh, number three Baylor, number two Arizona. Man, I'm gonna ride with uh, I'll ride with Baylor. That's one there. I'll stick with that. Putting North Carolina and Baylor in the Elite Eight. Number one against the number three. Whew, could Baylor pull that off and upset North Carolina? Oh man, they are a tough team. Uh, always have been so, but North Carolina has always been dominant as well. That's a tough one there. Um, it seems like all my other ones were pretty simple to go through, but this one I think will be tough. It do, if it does come down to, to this one, this may be the winner of the entire tournament between these two. I think. Um, oh man, you know what? I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take Baylor. I'm going to take Baylor, put him in the Final Four. All right, now over to the Midwest. Uh, we already took Purdue over, I think it was Grambling we took. I don't know which one we took. Um, next one will be 
Number eight, Utah State against number nine, TCU. I'll take the upset. No, yeah, I'll take TCU on that one. Number five, Gonzaga. It's number 12, McNeese. Gonzaga, this is one of my favorite college basketball teams, is Gonzaga. Um, always a solid team. Man, they've they've come so close. I think they've won it once, but it's been it's been a minute. They has they've always have a solid solid program over there as well. Speaking of solid programs, number four Kansas, number thirteen Sanford. Not really a question. Going to put Kansas against Gonzaga in that one. That's going to make or break a lot of teams right there. Those two. Uh, number six South Carolina. Number eleven Oregon. Um, man, I will. Oregon has had Oregon's Oregon's hit or miss with college basketball in the tournament time. Um, man, especially they're also number 11. Uh, not on the ride with South Carolina. Now, the Gamecocks gonna pull, may pull that one out. Number three, Creighton versus number 14, Akron. Man, uh, I'm gonna take Akron in that one. I'll take Akron upset in Creighton. Uh, we already picked, oh, uh, we, we picked Virginia to beat Texas, so number 10, Virginia over number seven, Texas. Bring us to the last one of the, of the 64 2. Number two, Tennessee against number 15, St. Peter's. We'll take Tennessee in that one. They're, they're, a, they're a solid solid program as well. Uh, so the, we're at 32 now. Number one, Purdue against number nine, TCU. I'll uh, just go right to it with, with, with Purdue. Man. All right, next one. Number five, Gonzaga against number four, Kansas. It really sucks that this is how this bracket fell for these two teams. Uh, one of my favorites, like I said earlier, Gonzaga, against my, I mean, my dad's favorite team, Live or Die Jayhawk fan, for a long time. Um, growing up, watched Kansas basketball all the time, uh, and then I, you know, I started watching Gonzaga. Kind of just chose them as my team, um, and man, to see it like this, but oh man, this is. This one will will be a tough one if it does come down to it, but I will take uh, I'll take Kansas over that over Gonzaga to uh, to go on to play Purdue in the next in the next round. South Carolina gets Akron. I will stick with South Carolina winning that one. Uh, Virginia versus Tennessee. Um, I'm gonna stick with Virginia riding riding through that one, riding from all the way from the playing game all the way into uh, the Sweet 16. Right, we're in the Sweet 16 now, right? Yeah, we are Sweet 16. All right, so. Purdue, number one Purdue against number four Kansas. Man, if this if this Kansas team gets rolling and plays solid ball like they have in the past, they could really pull it off. And I, I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with Kansas. Put them into the Elite Eight. Um, brings us to Virginia, number ten, which is run from the playing games all the way to the 16 against the Gamecocks. Um, I'm gonna ride with Virginia. I'm gonna ride with Virginia all the way into the uh, Elite Eight. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna see if they run all the way in. And then let them play against Kansas, where Kansas will take that one uh, and play into the Final Four at that point. So then, come down to our Final Four. Now, you guys may be sitting there listening to me talk about this and kind of go through it pretty fast, but um, man, it's it's a fun tournament, and being able to do this, I'm just on Yahoo, uh, and it's enabled. You can, you can click it all through and go through it, really enjoy it. But uh, man, it's. It's a fun tournament to get into. I know a lot of people do do brackets and a bunch of parties and stuff like that. But uh, all right, now final four: number two Iowa State against number three Baylor, and we have number four Duke against number four Kansas. Is this possible? Hell yes, it is. Uh, will it happen? Probably not. We'll probably end up. I mean, you could probably have. I mean, it could go anyway. I mean, everybody knows that. There's a good chance that North Carolina can make it in here too. I don't, I don't doubt any of that. I'm just kind of playing on odds and seeing how things have played out in the past. Um, there's a good chance that these four teams don't even make it to the Final Four or Elite Eight. You know, they could. I mean, they, they could all lose the first round. Um, Iowa State versus Baylor. Iowa State has been solid uh, for many years recently. Within the last five years, if I can remember right, that's how it's been. Again, I don't. I don't watch a whole lot of college basketball, but I know when it does come to this time that these teams are pretty solid. Um, Baylor is another solid team. Um, man, this is a tough one. Uh, I want to say they're both still Big 12, but I'm not sure. Um, 
I know Iowa State is. So, but uh, I'm gonna stick with Iowa State going into uh, into the final in the championship. So uh, that'll bring in against. So we got Duke versus Kansas in the second half of the Final Four. Uh, Duke all time has been a solid team, along with Kansas. Um, this could be a battle of the Midwest, which I think it will be. I think I'll take, uh, man, I think I'm going to take Kansas. I'm going to take Iowa State versus Kansas in the finals. Um, just Midwest teams have had very, very solid teams for many, many years uh, when it comes to the tournament. Now, this is not downplaying, you know, any other teams, North Carolina, UConn, Kentucky, you know, even Duke. Um, man, there there's so many good teams obviously, that, that make this tournament. But these teams really stick out to me that are going to be dominant in what they do. And uh, the coaches that they have, the programs that they run, they really do. Uh, with this Iowa State versus – number two Iowa State versus number four Kansas. Um, again, like I said earlier when they were, when I had them playing against Drake in the, in the 32, Iowa State lives or dies by the three-pointer. Kansas will draw threes as well, but uh, I think Iowa State will risk a lot more to to win it and will drop as many threes as possible or attempt to drop as many threes as possible, which I think will be their downfall. Letting Kansas be the winner of the tournament, being the national champions, um, like they always do in many of these brackets, they let you do for a tiebreaker. Um, they want to have like you know the tr the final score. Um, I'm going to take. So what's it going to be? We'll take uh, Iowa State 79 and uh, Kansas more, uh, 85. So we'll do that one. 79, 85. Kansas takes the tournament. Um, man, it'll be a it'll be a fun one to uh, to watch. Just uh, just man, I hope it's I hope it's a solid tournament. I hope you know my bracket doesn't get busted too quick. Um, but man, it's there's a lot of good teams. I can't. It's crazy. Like, Georgetown's not in here, which has always been a fun team to watch. Um, but, yeah, there's there's some teams in here that I've never even remember seeing. Longwood. I don't remember ever seeing Longwood. There's Stetson. I don't remember. Oakland is another one I don't remember either. Um, but, man, there's just so many, so many new teams. It seems like Grand Canyon. I don't even remember, like... Colgate, I think I've seen before. Long Beach State, I think I've seen. Um, Creighton's normally around there, too. Samford. This is S-A-M, not S-A-N. So Samford, not Stanford. So I don't think I'm mis mispronouncing it or anything else. McNeese, I've never even heard of McNeese either. Um, but again, I don't watch a, watch it during the season. I'll only wait till, you know March time comes around. So when March Madness comes around, this is when I really get locked into it. I like to really enjoy it. Um... So what I will do is give this bracket out, and then what I'll do after, let's see, after the first 64, um, we may come back, and I may do another another episode just to kind of update everything, go through, see how my how my bracket did. Um, comment comment on the uh, on our Facebook page, everything else. Let us know what you think. How my if you hate my bracket, you don't think I know what I'm talking. Which more likely I don't, uh, because like I said, I don't watch it that much, but. Let me know if you, if you disagree or, or agree. And if you uh, you want to be on an episode to go through this with me, you're more than welcome. Come on. Talk some shit. Yell at me. Whatever. No big deal. We'll get through it. But uh, I look forward to it. Again, it starts on the 21st. It will be a, a fun one for sure, like it always is. Always a fun one. Uh, many people getting frustrated with their brackets just because they think they, they know what. They know how to pick them, um, and then you'll see a lot of the a lot of the guys' wives end up winning it because they picked the right jersey color, or they thought that one of their players was cute. So that's how they that's how they picked it, or the name sounds really cool, or they like the mascot. So just it's just different ways how people pick it, and I've had a lot of people do that. They will go through and they'll pick, oh, I want this mascot because it's it's cool. I like you know I like bulldogs. Or what's a jayhawk? Like I don't know what the fuck jayhawk is. I have no idea. Same thing with the Iowa State Cyclone. It's just a red bird and a tornado. I don't know what the Cyclone is. But it's fun. And it'll be a good one. Definitely uh, be sure to check it out. Uh, on the 21st, tip-off. Actually, you know, 19th is the first 
four games. I was right when I said four. First four playing games that they have. Uh, check it out. And then you got Thursday, I believe. The 21st. Is it Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. Thursday's the, the kickoff for everything. It'll be fun. End of the weekend. You have all the way. So 21st, 22nd of March is the round of 64. So look for the next episode, updated brackets to come the 23rd, the morning of the 23rd. I'll try and get it out as quick as possible. We've got round of 32, which is March 23rd to 24th. And then after that, uh, round 16, sweet 16, uh, is the 28th through 29th. So I'll definitely drop a new episode before that one as well. Uh, give an update on my bracket. If it, is it busted? Is it still going strong? Um, and also kind of fill in the gaps on who's still in, who's not, what I thought of the games, how the, how the tournament's going so far. Uh, am, am I completely frustrated and have no other ways of winning my brackets? So we'll see. And then after that, Sweet 16, 20, 29 starts there, and then we'll follow it up. Uh, you'll have an episode right for the 30th. Full round eight of the Elite Eight. And then there's no dates. Why is there no dates for the Final Four? Oh, April 6th. Okay, so April 6th, Final Four. That gives us, I mean, that gives us like almost, I mean, it gives us a week to drop another episode. Update for the Final Four. Sit here and complain about how every pick that I made was 100% wrong. Didn't pick anybody right. Um, and then after that one, two days after that, April 8th, is the national final. So, yeah, we'll have episodes all the way leading up to it. They may be quick ones. They may be little half-hour ones. Who knows? If I can get somebody out here to argue with me, they may be longer. They may be just be five minutes of them proving me wrong and completely shutting me up, and I have nothing else to say, which won't happen. But uh, it's a fun one. I'm looking forward to it. Definitely uh, enjoy it. So be sure to check out the podcast. Wherever you find your podcast, get your, get your podcast, download, whatever. Uh, two Guys, One Game Pad, for sure. Check out our twoguysonegamepad.com for all the merch. Uh, for your needs of iPad covers, aprons, hats, shirts, anything. you got sig uh, signature ones for myself and for SIG. Um, yeah. Check us out Thursdays as well. I'm kind of rambling trying to figure out what else to say so I don't leave anything out, but... Check us out on Thursdays. We're still playing video games. Every Thursday, hanging out, having fun, talking shit, me and me to each other like we always are. Or him to me, one or the other. I don't know. But yeah, till then. Bye, bitch. <laughs>